is Papa Brad's Gaming. I'm at the Wayback Arcade. An arcade made in a supermarket. This is gonna be amazing. The experience of Wayback's Arcade starts even before you get in the building. When you come to the outside of this A&P supermarket, you see all kinds of cool retro art. Donkey Kong, Mario, Pac-Man, Dragon Slayer, E-Man, Q-Bert, just to name a few, Sonic, Ghostbusters, What's better than just games? Games and pizza. Pretty delicious too. It's really good. Here we go. Not only do you have awesome video games, but you have pizza. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness Arcade in Ironville, Louisiana. When you're talking about real arcade machines, you gotta visit a place like this. To me, this is where the real magic is. A real retro arcade. All those great games you remember from when you were a kid. Or games you might discover. Welcome I'm Jeremy. Wayback. Welcome to Wayback. Yep. This is Evan. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and give you the tour. All right. Come on Here in. we are. It's yep. a supermarket yep. that's now an arcade. <laughs> this place is amazing. Absolutely. Great. It's like a little more enjoyable than your standard supermarket. Yeah. So this is our main eating area over here in the arcade. So you can go ahead and uh, I like the get a Hunt Brothers pizza. 
and uh, get you some wings, get you some ice cream. Awesome. Get that over there. Awesome. Yeah, we have the best ice cream. We, uh, Texas is on Blue Bell, but yeah. we're in Louisiana. Is that, big, is that Big Trouble from Little China over yeah, there? That's Whoa. Little China, One thing I'll say, man, the art, the graffiti art in here is off the hook. Just awesome art everywhere. Jack yeah. Burton wouldn't be very happy. Pass through this row of Donkey Kongs, I see. Yeah. Yep. We have yeah. a lot of requests. I like the way you have your games organized. I see these are all Nintendo. You have a sweet row of Atari. This is how you do it. Yeah. We did our best to put like things together. Some of the stuff we didn't have others of, we just kind of put in the middle. But there's some unique things here Evan will tell you about. Okay. Yeah, we got Donkey we all know Donkey Kong. What is this one next to it says <laughs> me? Donkey me. me on it. What is that about? Tell us That's about it. if you want to play Donkey Kong, but you want to do it as Ellen Ripley or Luke Skywalker. And the, uh, it just goes on and on. A little Big Trouble in Little China, which wow. is my personal favorite. Yeah. But it's just different awesome. flavors of the And of it's the a classic. freeware game. And, and of course, being in a free play arcade, we couldn't charge someone a quarter for this in a quarter arcade. That would be wrong. It'd be stealing, but this is kind of just something we put together that's available for them to uh, do. Oh, yeah. We are fixing our uh, fixing right here all of a sudden. That's oh, okay. That's going to have to be restarted. It's, it's going to be restarted. We'll have that taken care of. That's the problem. That's how they fix. But, yeah, we got our Super Mario. We got Super the original. Mario Brothers. We got our, of course, the classic wide body Mario, yeah. which is Thank awesome. Thank you. Yeah. If, you, uh, if you're an NES fan, which I am, play Choice 10. Play Choice 10. We have great games. titles on that Play okay. Choice 10. But, okay, uh, let's hit this uh, row of, uh, we got SNK. These are, these are pretty rare. You cannot hardly find these joysticks. These are the rotary oh, joysticks. Yeah. Not only do we have the Real War running it, but we also have the Kari Warriors 2 running it. We got the authentic control. We do. And we have an Akari board in the back. So as far as we know, it'll be the biggest SK original lineup anywhere that I know of. One of my favorite games, Berserk. Absolutely. Stern Classic. This no, cabinet is, cool. is in a blasphemous cabinet. Yeah. But rest assured I have the original cabinet in the back. I just haven't got around to swapping the guts into it yet. So this will just get us by for now. Awesome. It will what be is, in a dedicated cabinet. What is Starfighter? I've never if seen this arcade. Okay. <laughs> what is what is Starfighter? If you remember the movie, The Last Starfighter, Alex Rogan saved the galaxy because he was recruited to Star League through a video game. Yeah, you got to fight the Kodan Armada. Kodan Armada, some <laughs> bad dudes. So some guy, buddy, actually took the time to recreate the screenshots from the movie and make the actual game because they didn't make the game back in the day. But Atari was licensed to do it. They fell on hard times. They decided to scrap it. So this is a, a, a Zybots cabinet that we just converted to run Starfighter because it kind of sort of looks like the one from the movie. That's but it's awesome. really neat. That's awesome. So we got some mods going here. We got some mod work. We got an Atari Star Wars. That's classic. Yeah, I'm running a vector monitor. Asteroids Deluxe. This is the only game in the two years we've been open that I still have the high score on. It's not a great awesome. high score. But yeah, it's the only one with my initials still on. But you long. have it. You have it with the uh, the vector monitor. It's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. All That's a good looking machine. Okay. Yeah. Let's hit the next row. If you like asteroids? Here's another asteroids deluxe. They only actually made 500 asteroids deluxe cocktails. Oh. So we're cool. able to find and restore. Got a cocktail cabinet asteroids. There you go. Of course, one of the biggest improvements in the new space is the number of pins that we have. Okay. Um, pins are something, you know, Lots you really can't play anywhere. Right. <laughs> and so uh, we have even had a gentleman today, I'm going to forget, Mike came. Uh, he's kind of IFPA. So hopefully uh, in, in January of 2022, we'll actually be able to have some sanctioned IFPA tournaments at Way Back Awesome. Arcade. Awesome. So, yeah. Five pins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's a good little flavor. We'll be adding to that as we go along. We want to. Okay. We'll walk over. Oh, here. we're right here, so we might as well come in here. This is going to be the future of Wayback Sea Sports. Still working on getting some of this. Wow. Up <laughs> but there's 20 gaming PCs. 
So there's Fortnite, Apex, League of Legends, Dota, CSGO, a lot of the games that people are playing today. Okay. And uh, we will be having tournaments here at Wayback. Okay. Uh, not just on these games, but also on others. Since our console area kind of starts back, we're going to have a lot of Nintendo, Super Genesis, uh, all the way to Dream. We've got a Dreamcast, PlayStation awesome. 2. Uh, we've got a Commodore we hopefully are going to put out soon Okay. Uh, for people who enjoy that kind of stuff. That reminds me of like uh, land parties and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And we need you know, space to kind of chill a little bit. Okay. We show old movies, you know, so Indiana Jones playing up there right awesome. now. Awesome. People who are looking at the consoles and the brick when it's way off the road. Yeah, right. Two teams. Teams. Got a, we got your consoles. PlayStation, Nintendo 64, yep. Super Nintendo, coming to move there. Um, we've got our regular NES. Yes. And we're pretty much started, man. The Atari 2600. Atari 2600. I have a massive 2600 collection. Oh, yeah. That's great. Awesome. This day, I love my 2600. Okay, cool. TVs are sitting on local carpenter um, in my church, Greg Jenkins. Uh, Cabinet Pro of Sinlock, built these things, and and just there's other little touches all around Waybacks. This is uh, the art on this wall. It's a little. We're, we're gonna figure out a better way to light it soon, but you know that's another local artist. Oh, yeah. Kindergarten teacher. And, um, yeah, I'm actually a second grade teacher. Yeah. So you know that's that's uh, something that we're proud of is that you know we know rising tides lifts all ships and. And we've been helped a lot, and we're trying to help other people too. Way back, sure. it's all about the community. We are, it's all we about are. The community. I love it. I love it. We're actually uh, donated to Wayback, and so awesome. we yeah. wanted to put them on the floor for everybody. To enjoy. Yeah. I think last year we gave out four thousand passes okay. uh, for uh, honor roll. Awesome. Other different community groups, ball teams, things like that. Everybody comes to the arcade, even Michael Myers is walking through the door right now. <laughs> this is where our fighters start. So okay. You street Fighters, your Mortal Kombat, your Soul Calibur, all the way down. You know, you run into your Double Dragons. If you're a fan of the movie Bloodsport with Van Damme, we even have Karate Champ. Remember, that's how you got Frank Dukes. I mean, Jack. look at this fighting ground. We got Street Fighter 2. Street Rider Alpha 3, Soul Calibur, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and these machines are, are in great shape. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, okay, Mortal Kombat 4, we got WrestleFest, and we got some classic games. Tell me about your classic bro, you got what, Karate Champ? Yeah. Double also, Dragon? And then also, also added a little bit of uh, Extra to the marquee here if you want to get in on that. I had to do an homage to Dukes and Jack. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. You got Double Dragon. Is that running the real board where it slows yeah. down? Does that have the arcade oh, slow down? Yeah. Two is running original boards. Running original yeah. hardware. That's the only way to play Double Dragon. The thing I know is about your machines. It's the amount of detail taken to make the gaming experience good. You have well, good like, controls. And, and every cab has a story. I mean, this was pulled out of a plantation in Mansura that was going to be demolished. Okay. And so, you know. Y'all saving these arcades yeah. from the dumpster. We're going to our best. And, uh, you know, the thing is, I noticed a lot of your arcades, too, is you, you use LCDs on some of them. Some of them. But the restoration that you do is really top notch. They look great. Yeah. Every now and then, we'll have to we'll run into a problem where we can't find an original CRT. Most of the cabinets in our area, for whatever reason, they were good. Like we just found empty cabinets, so we we try to at least stay faithful to the cabinet, the artwork, and the controls. We and try three, to get the three. boards if we can. Yeah. The worst case scenario, if we have to put LCDs in them from time to time. And the thing is, at least you games, can play it, yeah. play it right. In your in your venue, these games are getting played all the time. Yeah. yeah. So and truth be told, you know, for us, kind of, you know, a lot of arcades when you future. exist over years and years and years. You accumulate two monitors, you accumulate these things. We're still very young. <laughs> and so, you know, we probably have a few tubes in the back that need a lot of work more even than just cat kits. Awesome. And so when we can save them, we save them. Yeah. And if we have to, well, we do But the thing about it is for people coming into an arcade, 
Like they want to see the games looking good. Yeah. I mean, when you see a monitor and it's all faded out, it just doesn't. Right. I mean, the presentation on these games is great. Okay, we got a Neo Geo. We've got Metal Slugs and Shock Troopers in there. Okay, Die Hard, Robocop. We got Double Gyrus. What's this about? Double Gyrus. Two. <laughs> came across a deal with a good gyrus and it was too pretty to convert or sell so we have the one on the right here running the original board's original monitor all that good stuff so the one on the left which had an lcd conversion we're actually going to put the nes version on a pi running on it which is okay. totally different yeah. than the arcade version so you'll have two versions of gyrus in the yeah. original beautiful cabinet. it adds a bomb yeah. and uh, some other it's it's the a little bit different the sprites are different it's yeah. Really cool. We got double gyrus. Yeah, double gyrus. We got a row of uh, some people say Tato, some people say Taito. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a Taito. What do you call it? Taito. Okay. You know, I know our Taito accents up here. Gonna play some Taito. <laughs> yeah. The front line. That's one. Yeah. I notice the front line it has the rotary control. Yeah. yeah. This is definitely. And then you push the fire, which is okay. really unique. Only three games ever used it. It was a uh, Frontline, uh, Wild Western, and Ten Star, all yeah. by Tato. And they didn't do that well back in the day, so most operators threw it away. And, right. Yeah. So right. not many of those controls. Survived. That controller is what about four hundred dollars now. If you can even find if you can find one, gotta, <laughs> gotta be rare. So yeah, got my wife's favorite game of all time, Centipede. Yeah. This is our number one game. It looks great. It looks great. Because I remember at the old location we played it. It looks very washed. That's the thing. It's like the maintenance they do. I mean, look at this. This looks like it just rolled off of the showroom floor. We got a Tempest. We got a Tempest. Everybody loves Tempest. Let's get a picture of the side art. Not a, this is not an arcade one up. This is the real bad one. It is. What it looks like. If it was a one-up, I'd be down here. Yeah. <laughs> but but I, I can play adult games here. <laughs> cool. So uh, this is kind of, we keep our four-player stuff here in the back. Um, Turtles, you know, and every, again, with everyone having a different story, this had been converted to a golden tee, which I think we've deconverted about five golden tees at this point. And so got our Turtles. I, I will talk about this X-Men for just a moment. Uh, probably your viewers will notice, Brad, that it doesn't look exactly right. This is the one that got me into the hobby. This was built by me and my father-in-law. Wow. Three pieces of wood. <laughs> and uh, we, we use it as our four-player X-Men. And so it's, uh, it's special to me because uh, it was the first ever I, I gutted a tube TV and put it in. Yeah, know? the restoration <laughs> is it's a beautiful representation so, of X-Men. You know, best we can do. Got one of my old school faves, man. Yeah. Gore. Gore. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful game. Uh, We've got Rampage. We'd love to have Brian, if you ever watch this, we'd love for you to come to Louisiana. Come sign our Rampage. Awesome. And uh, I think he's actually at Arcade Monsters in Florida right now. Uh, about to unveil a new arcade game by Brian Collins. So uh, you guys should check that out. Uh, we all got war, World Tour, which is my fa my favorite. My, I like the World Tour Rampage yeah. more than the original. It's more fun. Yeah. Uh, Tron, um, and this is all original. This is an all original Tron. Say that again. This is an all original Tron. An all original <laughs> all Tron. Original. Yeah. This I say that as so we cool. did. I think we had to replace the joystick, but the hardware, the actual hardware in the game, is all original. It's amazing. And. Uh, you know, beautiful game, beautiful and, game. and of course oh, the dumb. value of Tron. Oh, I'll be playing that one for sure. It, it is sky Look at that awesome rocketed. sign. Yeah. That's awesome. We're going to take our outdoor sign from our smaller place and move it indoors. This place is amazing. I mean, I can't believe how big it is. Yeah. I noticed you got all the bigger games on the back wall. Yeah. Tell me why you did that. Well, I mean, one of the biggest problems in arcades is space. You get a four-player game. And, you know, we wanted to make sure that when people actually come up to play it, that they could actually get here and play it and have the space to do that. And so I still wish we could probably add a little bit more space, but it's way better than it was yeah, in our previous 
everyone. Attention to detail. Everything in here is so thought out. We got Dungeons and Dragons. Once again, another huge beat em up game. And this was a great find. I mean, two hundred dollars is what we paid for this. It had a bad power supply. That monitor yeah. that is so big. <laughs> what is? Is that a way or something? It, it, is it that is. that yeah. is incredible? That's an original monitor. Look at the size of this CRT monitor. Yeah. And uh, you know it when you move it. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine you know when you move it. how heavy that is. Right, it's probably worth mentioning, to our knowledge, this is the only DDR that you can play in an arcade in the state of Louisiana. Okay. And so this actually was something that took us a while. Hey, girl. <laughs> this is Buck. Buck, come here. This is Brad. Hi, Buck Brad. painted all the windows outside. So okay. if Brad shows you all the windows, cool. Buck did them. She is amazing. Okay, yeah, the and art in here yeah. is just amazing. You check that out. I love the art. So, yeah, I think that's... Uh, got a DDR? Yeah, we, yeah, got a DDR. We got some classics. Oh. This is awesome. Multi-K to fill in this the gaps. Everyone needs a multi-K. This is, multi -K. Okay. This is okay. David Parks. He, Hi, David. He actually Papa rolled around this Pac-Man. <laughs> so, uh, he... Uh, he, he got to the kill screen on this last night and uh, he's been working a little bit uh, on uh, our Pac Man today. So, guys, I'm still doing my best. He's got some bananas going. 304,000, guys. Very good score. <laughs> 304 yeah. right now. When did you now. finish this out last night? 906. 906 last night. Wow. So, yeah. so we got some serious arcade yeah, gamers yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Because you got the serious arcade games, you gotta get the serious you know what? This makes people wanna play games. Yes. Yeah. Playing them in this original format like this. Absolutely. So we got a wonderful this must be like your Namco row, I see. We've got a lot yeah. a lot of good Namco games. Yeah. Midway Cavs. Don't know a lot about Gap Plus. Tell me a little bit about that one. I know so Gal this actually, this back and back. Yeah, so this actually I'm trying to remember it was two or it was Three. I think this is technically Galaga Three, okay. um, if I recall. And, uh, and so, again, that was one we were able to get a cap. Uh, you know, Evan redid all the artwork on this, and um, but yeah, it's another game for people to enjoy here. Yeah, the multi -cade. You got yeah. a PC in it? What are you running uh, no, inside this the is, This is a board. I think this setup is about is it a sixty in one. It's about or? three. It's about. $300 because okay. it has like the trackball and, okay. and some other stuff besides like a normal just 60 and one there's some other like this is uh Arkanoid is on here yeah, it's cool so, to have a, you a, know like a good multi can can fill in any gaps you're missing in an arcade yeah absolutely I know in home arcades everyone likes to have a multi k to kind of yeah and that's what we have in spots. our party rooms in our private party rooms each private party room has a multi k just so, you know, if, if you want to go into there and uh, be able to relax with your family for a moment, not, you know, get away from all the lights and stuff. Okay. And so that's how that's set up in there. Cool. And so each room is themed as well. So we have our, our super pack room, our miss pack room, and our Pac-Man room. Okay, we'll all different. Out. Yeah. So so we got Galaga. This is all original now. The miss Pac-Man's so legit. Pac yeah, miss Pac-Man. All Pac arcade armor. Okay. Much better. Much better. Um, so, uh, you're gonna have to show me in a bit. Because one of my videos is about the class of night. I know you got a class of 1981 hidden somewhere here. One of my most popular videos is kind of a troll on that. We'll have to check that out for sure. Okay, but we see uh, we have a really good row of Namco's. Let's uh, let's take a look over here. What we got. Lots of good 80s arcades here. We got Phoenix. We got Time Pilot, Frogger, that was me out, outside on the road trying to get my shot from the beginning of this video. This is Papa Brad's Gaming. I'm at the Wayback Arcade. An arcade made in a supermarket. This is gonna be amazing! You're like, you're like a car's coming. You don't even say anything. You're gonna get me killed. to have the Monroe joystick on the Pilot. It's also on Gyrus too. Both our Gyruses are running the What's Monroe What's different sticks. about a Monroe joystick? Man, it's just the design and the feel. Feel that, Brad. You're not going to find a silky smooth oh, yeah. Monroe joystick like that. Oh, the weight yeah. of it, they turned the cool. wheels just a little different than everybody okay. else did. So games like this where you're going in a circle, there's no other yeah. way to get okay, it right. So we got 
to, uh, to uh, being authentic. Yeah. It's another multi. Another multi K with guess. like probably thousands of games. I would imagine. Yeah. Like the, the 900 something and more. Look at this beautiful cube. Yeah. Oh, the hard part is when you have so many great games, you can't see the side art, but look at this. Here's a cube. Yeah. This one, when we got it, was an all star football. Okay. Had to go to the so, beautiful cube cabinet and put a terrible football game in it. So we brought this one back. This is uh, actually running the J Rock board. Yeah, those, those the are great. Love the yeah, I mean, they're really not missing anything when you run that board. Yeah. How many J Rocks do we have? Three? We have Cubers running J-Rock, Sinistar is running a J-Rock, uh, Bubbles is running a J-Rock, and our multi -K down there is running our Arcade SD, which is like right in line, in my opinion, as far as accuracy of emulation. But uh, that's currently our J-Rock. So. We've got another custom cab. we got a root beer, t uh, root beer tapper, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is made by a buddy of mine that owns a uh, Karate Gojo and fan, okay. Karate Kicks. Yeah. But he is a huge timber fan and uh, he just wanted to add a piece of the arcade and he was like, heck yeah man, yeah. I want a custom root beer timber. Awesome, we got NFL Blitz Midway. We have an NBA jam in the back that okay. needs a lot of love. Okay. Hopefully it'll make it to the floor fairly soon. Let's talk about your Williams room. Man, you got you got some good Williams here. That's the centipede that going down the wall or the centipede going on the wall? Arcade. Yeah. Real arcade. These guys are constantly keeping these machines. Very going. glamorous life. And it's, <laughs> it must be a daily struggle because every time I come in here, almost everything in here is working. Yeah. But these guys put in the work, and that's why this place is next level. And it's probably worth mentioning. I mean, if for other people who might be looking to do this, which by the way, uh, we all the things that you see, a lot of the things you see, are ideas that we've gotten from other arcade owners. There's a fantastic. Uh, arcade owners behind the cabinets group on Facebook. People have been helpful on there. We've gotten a lot of ideas, but um, you know, all that. All that being said, I mean, you know, we learn things from other people. Um, one of the things I would say is, is when you open a place like this. So we repair these games. We get them ready, and even then, you have to consider when we buy a broken game that we haven't, uh, that hasn't been used in years and years. We fire it up, we get the dust off. Even if we get it working, the first three months that you put that game on the floor, it, something's gonna go wrong <laughs> and, and it'll present itself. And so the first three months we expect are gonna be pretty expensive as we have to repair things and fix things. But then it should, if it's anything like the other place, it'll slow down because the parts that are gonna break will have broken. And, and as they made these machines, many of them are made to last and made to run, you know, where they're on for 12 hours a day. And, and so, um, but the first part, just like that, it's, it's back. Yeah. Okay. So every, we're Let's constantly start. walking the floors trying to make sure everything's good. Let's start with Sinistar. Sinistar came from a guy in uh, Lafayette and um, looked like it was going to be salvageable for a bit, even with the original boards. Uh, of course, a joystick in Sinistar is very unique as well. Tell me about uh, the joystick. How is it different? Okay. So I say your traditional eight, which is up down, yeah. diagonal. This one you can just all the way around. All the way around. The line, which is essential to play Sinistar. You've got to have that. I mean, if you play that emulated without the original, it, it just doesn't. Sin Sinistar is going to eat you alive yeah. on the first level. That, that, has, that, has, that has the custom controls that the real arcade has, so it plays right. Yeah. We got a Bubbles. Uh, yeah. Bubbles is one of my kids' favorites. My, my young son, he loves Bubbles. That's also running the J-Rock. Okay. But uh, Williams boards are, as arcade enthusiasts and hobbyists know, Williams for boards are just horrendous to maintain. They're constantly changing RAM and ROM chips. So these two are uh, running j rock okay. That way they stay up more often than not. We are very blessed to have Lonnie McDonald, International Video Game Hall of Famer, come and take our joust all the way to the end. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. The date, number 246 of his 
These are the games. I love these games. This this little group here, Joust, Robotron, Defender. That's like the, those are like the all-time classic Williams. Robotron is probably my favorite game. I love Robotron. I have a Robotron at the house as well. That's how much I like Robotron. Yeah, and it's not going to be probably too much longer. Uh, we hope to have a Smash TV out on the floor. Yeah, the, uh, and so, Greg made our console cabinets. Is actually doing all the uh, wood repair on our Smash TV cabinet as we speak. So coming soon, Smash TV. Smash TV. You're going to have the all-time great Williams row. Defender, Robotron, Joust, Bubble, Sinistar, and soon Smash TV. Defender is just the game that separates the men from the boys. This is like the hardest of all arcade games. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. But it's punishing. I don't know. Our, our missing candidate, which we're still on the lookout, Stargate. Yeah. It's this on crap because you have one more button. <laughs> you took it into it. And yeah. It's already nightmare enough. But the thing that, that like, amazing. you cannot play this game without these controls. Because it's so, it's so, like every, if you miss anything for even a fraction of a second, you're dead. Awesome, thank you. This is in all the artwork in the console room and the party room. Oh, wow. Again, yeah. another local artist, kindergarten teacher. Yeah, Art's amazing. Hey, I'm a second grade teacher. So she did a great job. Awesome. Great job. He's got Papa Brad. How you doing? I'm Papa Brad. Papa Brad's gaining. That's right. Awesome. Okay. Tell us so about this This is room. basically our sit down racer and shooter room. Yeah. And so you can come check that out. Probably one of the hardest things to work on are shooters. Okay. Uh, just because you have to have a working tube monitor in 99% of the cases. And then as well, Gun calibration, all the boards. It's it's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> Here you go. But you know, we've got the two Midway most popular games from Midway that are going to be classic. Revolution X and Terminator 2 Judgment Days. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna be playing those. I'm really really proud of this. This is our Star Trek Voyager. Okay. And so uh, this was rescued. Had a lot of had a dead computer in it. So this is kind of my expertise as PCs. And so we were able to get this fired back up, bought a hard drive from eBay for it, and you know, reseated everything, got it all up, got it all calibrated. This is a very fun shooter. Papa Brad, you gotta play this. Okay, I'm gonna check that sure one check out. out. Sure. I'm gonna check them all out. You got these are big games. I mean, you need a big space for these kind of games. You need a big space to even have this game. Look at Time Crisis. House of the Dead, House of the Dead 2. And uh, the shooter I had never played before, Confidential Mission. Yeah, I think and, it was on Dreamcast I played it. Yeah. But I've never played the arcade. This so is my it's, first time. It's really fantastic. Again, we're really blessed to have two environmentals. You know, environmentals are very, very expensive normally. Right. But, uh, you know, again, the way we work, we buy a lot of stuff that's broken. We were able Fix to it get out. those games up. Fix it up. And that saves those games too. Yeah. So, last, you know, Area 51, Max 4. This is, uh. You're hunting. Yeah. Flash Gordon. So, this is, uh. This is something that your your people may not have seen before. Air Strike. No, it's I've called, never seen this one. Well, this actual system is called Sumo. And if you've seen it before, usually you see them with a uh, plastic bubble kind of over the cockpit. That's more, I think, the deluxe version. But something interesting about this game is this company went out of business years ago. Um, you can't find the stuff. There's a guy out there that has all the original disc images and a crack to get all the games running. So this has all seven games that came with the Sumo, wow. as well as all seven coasters that came with it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. People okay, really enjoy cool. it. We do have our Mad Wave Motion Theater. Uh, this one, I guess, has kind of a fun story as well. In that, uh, when we got the theater, it was broken. Uh, these guys are twenty-five thousand dollars brand new. Wow! And uh, we were able to get it working. Wow! And so, uh, people do enjoy it and uh, have a good time here.
We had a relay go out on the air hockey table. We got to got to get that. The pucks are hard to keep, huh? Yeah. Okay. Got some people shooting you. Man, you are Y'all got everything. You got basketball games. We got shooters. We got ski ball going on here. Y'all got everything here. Yeah. It's like one stop shopping for everything arcade. It's incredible. These uh, actually came out of a Dave and Buster's in Dallas. And uh, they're kind of modern, you know, they've got a screen and LED lights and everything. So. Yeah, i never seen what's the flaming finger. What's the flaming finger? What is flaming? I've never seen flaming finger. Uh, you gotta be careful. You don't want to get burned.
here in Pineville, Louisiana. Man, do they have the games. This place is off the hook. Wayback's Arcade. I mean, all the classics are here. Look at them all. Sinistar, Bubbles, Joust, Robotron, Fender. The thing is, when you come to a place like this, they take care of the games for you. This is, this is the best value. You know, you can get like monthly memberships. I mean, if I live if I live close to this place, I would be in here all the time. Look at this. I think it's important that you support real arcades. A free play arcade, like Wayback's Arcade, that's doing it right. This is an amazing thing. You gotta support. Brad's gaming. Yeah. yeah. I'm at, I'm at Wayback's. It's gonna be the galloping ghost of the south. This place is insane. You hear that? I'm, I'm, here, I'm giving you a little love right now with the, the galloping hey, ghost man. shirt. Well, I'll keep the legit. Got some southern fried game and galloping ghost. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be a destination arcade for the entire south. Um, I just wanted to uh, say hello. Do you want to introduce yourself one more time? Yeah. I'm a. Uh, one of the owners, Evan, this is my partner, this is the other owner, Jeremy, and uh, left in the Waybacks Arcade. Awesome. Check us out. Thank you.